Hey guys, Michelle here from Cachelle Creations, and today I have an unboxing of another virtual retreat that I decided to um, join. Uh, the virtual retreat actually took place a few weeks ago, but as we all know, life interrupts us, and I was unable to attend the live virtual retreat, but before I get started doing the project, I do want to show you the stuff that came in, um, because I do know that they're going to do one in the Christmas time. And that way, in case you're interested in something like this, you have an idea as to what came in and what will be done. So I know it's a little weird <laughs> doing this, but you know, what can you do? So the virtual retreat that I joined was Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, Annette Green, one of, her, one of their design team members, hosted the event. Um, and so what they tend to do is they allow individual shops to sell their kits before they do on their website. Never heard of that before, but that's what they like to do. And so I had to figure out <laughs> what local um, shop in my area, um, being in Florida, offered it. And so to my surprise, I actually found one. Um, and so they are everythingmixedmedia.com, actually in Wellington, Florida. I looked them up, they're like a two hour drive south from me. So that would have to be like a weekend trip. But um, from what I saw, they're very big and very massive. So if any of you in Florida um, want to check them out, by all means, it does say that they do Facebook Lives as well as a lot of different um, techniques in their scrapbooking world. Never heard of them before, like I said. So something new and different. And I do like to support local shops and local businesses. So. I gave them a try <laughs> and so therefore um, I received my kit now this kit I don't believe is available anymore on Elizabeth craft designs or at the place that I purchased it from but if it's something you're looking for definitely search around um, the kit itself was called summer planner 2023 with a night green so something um, to look into if you're interested in it. I do know that the A5 planner that you see in front of you wasn't exclusive for this. A lot of people questioned during many, um, I don't know if it was posts or comments, asking if they would have it available um, without the retreat and there's made no comment about it. But I have been collecting as you probably have seen in my my uh, my videos, um, a lot of their products because I want to use it. And so it's so pretty. Look how beautiful that is. It's like a wood grain look. So it is bare, but the kit does bring you the inserts to use along with everything else, which I'm going to show you. So it's pretty much what a similar traveler's notebook looks like. You have a holder for your instrument, um, pen or pencil, marker, and then you have your um, binder and then you have your class to keep it contained. So that is the album that we would be using for the class. And then I just love the fact that I got a bag from them. I think that's kind of cool. And then... Let's move this all out of the way so I can show you everything. So here we go is what we're going to get in the kit. So the kit does have all this product. Now I do think, um, unless I'm mistaken, it is now available to obtain the individual pieces that are in this kit, not the album from my understanding. So here are my extra pieces that I will be using inside ah, inside of my Traveler's Notebook. And then we have stamps. So we have like a squiggly arrow, we have adventure. Those look like fireworks, a sun, and then sentiments. So, and we have a little ice cream cone. How cute is that? Then we also received a Elizabeth Craft Design cutting a die cut so these here can make the reinforcement for um, your binder and then you have a film strip you have a little margarita glass you have an arrow you have a banner ice cream popsicle like a ticket stub 
a little paper clip and a bunch of other little doodads. These two um, mechanisms here that I'm pointing to, they allow you to put slips within the album. Okay, here's a perfect example. So you would put that mechanism there and you would open up your paper so you can make it into a pocket. The only thing you have to be careful of is that the paper you're going to back it up to, don't make sure, <laughs> make sure you don't put glue all over it because then it won't be a pocket anymore. So you would have to seal it on the edges only so that it can come in and come out. So in case you're not understanding what I'm saying, to be careful, I'm going to show you what I mean. If I can get this out. Maybe not. There we go. Okay, so here is your template for your page. And then let's say you want to have your slit in your paper, right? So let's pretend this is the cutout that we're going to do. We're also going to put a slit. Come on. Oh my gosh, that was hard tape. We're also going to put a slit in the paper. And we're going to put that slit right here. So what it will basically do would open up a hole so you can insert something in the back. And let's say you don't want it that wide. You have the smaller one here. And that could go up here at the top if you want it open, or you can actually put in multiple sections. Because let's say you want to have a little pocket here, and then you want to put a seal here so it doesn't go further down. And then you have another little pocket here, so you would have to roll it twice, obviously. But um, that kind of gives you the capability of making your page more functional than if you were to do it manually with your finger with your knife or an exacto knife so i think that's pretty cool and so i can't wait to actually do the class itself i did go through the motions of it and what i mean by that is sorry about that what i mean by that is i actually printed out our instructions of our homework along with um, watching the lives that occurred to kind of get a feel for the class. Um, from what I can tell you so far, it is very different from my other virtual retreats I've taken. Um, when I tell you that I've taken Vicky Booten or Country Craft Creations, Vicky Booten actually goes through everything with you from beginning to end, meaning she shows you what papers to pull, she shows you what to cut, how to cut it, she does the assembly with you. So far what I've been seeing, we do our own cutting, which means you're given a list of instructions and then you're told to cut these pages on your own. Of course, you do have help on the private Facebook link to ask questions and such like that. But then the live portion is just piecing together all your pages at, you know, at once. So it will be different because um, I'm not used to that, so I will definitely let you know my input and how long it took me to do it in comparison. But here are the pages that we will be using. So they are double-sided. And you can see um, it's more summer colors. And this one looks like it's like um, leather. Kind of gives me more nautical or like um, July 4th type of thing. Wonder if these are backwards. So this is England and Wales, the Irish Sea. Yeah, bubbles. And then you have British, UK. That fish. So 
So, um, I am, sorry, that was harsh on your eyes. I am very curious to see, um, how this turns out. And then this one is the main page, but then you get this on the back. So if you're looking for this collection, um, this is the collection. Um, I don't know if they have names to it. I guess it's called New Horizons. But I will definitely give you my feedback once I take this class. I just basically wanted to show you um, a different virtual retreat that I signed up for. Like I said, they will be doing one for Christmas. I think it's, I want to say from what I understood, it's more of a December daily kind of concept. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to sign up for that, but you never know what happens. Um, everyone likes to do Christmas stuff and it's like if I want to do all of them, then that's four Christmas things and you can only use one album, right? <laughs> or at least how many pictures can you take for Christmas to make multiple albums? Anyways, I'm going to have to figure that one out, obviously. But um, I wanted to share with you my find and I wanted to share with you my concept. If any of you have taken this class already, please let me know down below. Um, this is obviously my first time, so please be kind in your comments, um, not dismissing them. It, I really, really can't wait to take the class, but it is a very different, um, how you call it, concept for me. So it will be a learning curve in itself, I guess. Um, but I definitely wanted to let you guys know. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will catch you on the next one. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.